Hey everybody, thanks for watching Wade's Shorts. Um, I'm just doing a video in response to the whole uh, Coke and Worms deal. Uh, a lot of people do the experiment, but nobody seems to really explain why the worms are coming out. So I'm going to do my best to try to help you guys out with that answer. Anyways, for this experiment, we're going to be using Coke. I bought pork from Jewel Wild Harvest. Uh, supposedly some of the best pork that you could buy from the store, especially from Juul. Uh, never given antibiotics, never given hormones, fed 100% vegetarian diet. Doesn't say anything about worms on it though, so I guess we're going to have to test it out. Don't forget, the pan to put it all in. Alright, um, I also saw some videos online that have people doing this, but they only leave the pork in the Coca-Cola for like two minutes which is definitely not the way it should be done. Uh, the pork needs to be in, on the Coca-Cola for at least like two to three hours to really like force all the parasites to get out. So um, I'll do more of an explanation like later, but first let's just test this out, okay? Well, okay, here's the pork. Now we'll add the Coca-Cola. Okay. I think that's probably. I think that look. That looks pretty good. You guys can get a quick look on it. What do you think? Pretty good. Uh, we added the pork to the pan, so now we just need to wait the extra two to three hours. I'll do my thing, and I'll just speed this right up for you guys. All right, and we're back. Well, in order for me to kill all that time, uh, just a little information on myself, I guess, if anybody's really interested at all. Um, I actually practice Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, so I had a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu class. You can see I got a couple of scratches here and there. Got my rash right on now. Uh, anyways, just got back, so that killed about three hours. So, um, well, let's see the results. Looks like there actually weren't any parasites in the first place. I'm going to flip it over right now and check the other side. Sometimes I'm gonna come out on one side and not the other. Uh, looking at it carefully, I don't really see anything. I think we actually might have a good piece of meat on our hands here. Well, you guys saw about that. I guess there were no worms in the pork tenderloin, but you know, don't be too discouraged. I added a video right after this. Uh, so you guys can actually see what happens when you add coke to um, pork that actually has been infested by the uh, by the parasites, and uh, you can check it out right now. And I'll give a, a little explanation on exactly why everything happens. All right, you guys. Now to make up for this discouraging experiment, pork on raw. Are you kidding me? Well, a little bit. Ugh, that was pretty nasty, huh? Well, it looks like the myth about worms coming out of pork is true. Um, well, now let's look into like why it's happening. A lot of times when uh, a parasite will infect the pig, the parasite will go right for muscle tissue and I guess when the pig gets processed and sent out to market, that's pretty much what we're eating. So the parasites, a lot of times, they encapsulate themselves into like a little chamber and uh, basically they go dormant from there. And when you're adding coke to, uh, to like the slab of meat, like the, the pork tenderloin, what you're doing is actually the phosphoric acid inside the coke is um, is kind of destroying that um, that uh, that capsule around the um, around the parasite, and as soon as it does that, the parasite kind of just like flees, and it does that by getting out of the pork as fast as possible. 
Uh, this is exactly what you're seeing when you add pork to, uh, when you add coke to pork, and um, that explains it. Um, a lot of things you want to do to avoid getting like a disease is you want to cook your um, your meat to at least 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, you just want to get it like as hot as possible so you can just like roast those suckers. To be honest. Well, what you guys need to realize watching my video is that even though you're frying pork, if that pork's infected, I mean, sure, you're killing, like, all the parasites, but when you finally actually eat the pork, if it was infected, you're not just eating pork. You're eating pork with all, you're eating all those parasites, those dead carcasses, so, you know, hopefully, you know, next time you're with your family, you're sitting down, eating dinner, Hopefully, uh, I'm hoping you're thinking about my video. Bon appetit. Thanks for watching. Bye.